Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's take a look at the new second generation iPhone SE. MacMost is brought to you thanks to more than 600 supporters just like you. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So Apple released yet another new product here during the pandemic. The new second generation iPhone SE. So this will be Apple's new low end iPhone model. There was a previous model called the iPhone SE and this one is quite different than that one. The new iPhone SE, we can call it the iPhone SE 2020 or the iPhone SE second generation, is very similar to the iPhone 8. It's the same form factor, a 4.7 inch screen. The previous iPhone SE was similar in size to the iPhone 5 and 5S and it had a 4 inch screen. So the iPhone's got aluminum around the sides and a glass back and of course glass front. And the iPhone SE is going to stick with the home button and touch ID. So no face ID on this device which will actually make a lot of people happy. There are a lot of people that like the home button and like touch ID over face ID. So it will be nice that there's a model in the lineup that still has this. In addition there's no notch either. There's a space above the screen and that's where the camera and the speaker for using it as a phone are housed. So while this has the same name as the old iPhone SE and it looks a lot like the old iPhone 8, inside there's something very different. There's an A13 Bionic chip. That's the same chip that's in the iPhone 11. So the most important part of the phone is actually completely up to date. This will future proof it really nicely. Meaning that Apple will be able to sell this same phone for years and you could buy one now and be sure that it will still be pretty current 3, 4, maybe even 5 years from now. Camera wise though it falls way behind the iPhone 11. It only has a single camera on the back. It's a 12 megapixel camera. It's pretty decent. You're not going to get this phone if you're into photography and that's what you mainly want to use your iPhone for. But if you're getting this phone to use it for all the other reasons it's nice to know that you do have a decent camera there that you can use. It can actually record video at 4K 60 frames per second. Which is amazing considering just a few years ago you would have had to buy a dedicated camera for thousands of dollars just to record at 4K. This phone also supports wireless charging which is becoming very popular so you can pick up a $10 key charger and charge your phone with that thus leaving the single lightning port free for you to be able to plug in headphones or something else. The color choices are pretty limited. It comes in black or white or the product red color. Inside it comes standard with 64 gigs of storage but they're also going to be 128 and 256 gig versions you can buy. You'll be able to pre-order it on Friday the 17th and then get it a week later. Also a week later you should be able to find it on the websites for mobile phone providers. When it comes down to it pricing is really the main product feature here. $399 is the price in the US for the 64 gig version. and It only costs $50 more to go to 128 gigs and $150 more to go to 256 gigs. This $400 price point is going to make it very popular. A lot of people are going to be updating their iPhones with this model. It really makes it perfect for students or anybody on a budget. Really anybody that doesn't need the advanced cameras and just wants a basic iPhone. This is actually a little bit better than what I would define as a basic iPhone. It's a pretty decent model. So what do you think? Will you be getting the new iPhone SE? Do you think it's a good deal? Let me know in the comments below. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.